My name is David Mormon, and over the past five years, my team and I have painted over 500 houses in Langley and Surrey, doing revenues over a million dollars. And so I wanted to make a short video to detail out how we were able to grow this painting business to take it from here, take it up to there. And so you're probably asking yourself those similar questions. How can I grow my business? What does that look like? What types of action steps do I need to take? And so I want this video to be able to help you to take your painting business to the next level. A couple things on the business itself and why I love the painting business. First off, the painting business is not a sexy one. A lot of people don't really get into it because it's not super attractive they don't really know a whole lot about it and so that's one reason why it's good to be in it. Secondly, uh, the painting business is a system and so it's a simple system and if you're able to get that simple system working and working effectively, it is a very attractive business to be in. And lastly, the painting business is seasonal. In my painting business, we work hard for 10 months of the year and then we take two months off a year to travel or just take it easy and so November and December are off months we call it the off season and then in January again we will be up and running uh, painting inside again and so those are just a couple key things on the painting business itself to dig in further it's it's important to understand how this business is split up and so it's basically you can divide a line right down the middle and so on one side here we've got sales and marketing and on this side over here we've got production and so both those sides are going to be able they're gonna to have to meet each other as the year goes along. Obviously, you're gonna need jobs to run a business, but you can book all the work in the world, and if your production side is lacking, no houses are getting painted, you're not really running a business, you're just booking a whole bunch of work, and vice versa. If you don't have enough jobs, you've got guys standing around ready to do the work, um, they're not gonna stick around very long if you're not giving them lots of work. So, first of all, we'll talk about marketing and sales, and so, it's important to understand that your leads you get, so basically prospective customers calling you, you reaching out to them, they're interested in painting, you know, you gotta get them a price, you gotta get them an estimate, and so we call those leads. And so the ceiling of your painting business, it's very capacity, is going to be contingent on the leads that you get. If you're only bringing in 10 leads a week, you know, when you're busy, you're not going to be able to do as much, say if you're bringing in 30 leads a week, you're going to have more of a system that's sales and marketing that's going to be channeling to feed your production machine. And so you're going to have to figure out, you know, those lead numbers, what's going to work for you. I know for us, a big thing for getting leads, a big way to drive leads, we do a few different tactics, but first of all, we run a door-to-door -door campaign, and so we're going door-to-door -door starting even in January when it's snowing. We're knocking on doors, we're saying to the homeowners, hey, we're here, we're in your neighborhood, you see us every year, we're giving out free painting estimates. And so it's very important that homeowners recognize your, you know, your business, that's your front of mind when they're thinking of painting, and a way to keep that up is through a door-to-door -door program. And so when you have employees, staff knocking on doors, it's important to pay for performance. And so for us, we pay $15.15 for every lead that our marketers receive. And so that's a good way too for marketers to keep motivated in that the more people they can get to sign up to get an estimate, the more money they're going to be making. Further to door to door, we also run on a bunch of signs, and so we'll have signs up in the in the neighborhood where we're working, and then we'll also run out flyers, hang them on doors, and then uh, two other things. It's a very important 2015 to have an online presence, and so you're going to want to have a web page uh, where where homeowners, you know, prospective customers can find you. And then lastly, a huge thing in the painting business is just referral. We get over half of our business just on referral and that's friends, that's family, that's neighbors. You know, if you're running a business and you're doing a good job, people will tell other people and they will call you and they'll want to hire you. And so at the end of the day, all you need for a business is a paying customer. And if you're doing good work, you're, you're going to be held in good stead for, you know, the life of your business. If you are doing good work, people will want to hire you. So that's the marketing side. The sales with the marketing, obviously once you get leads, you're going to have to go do estimates to close work. And so for our system, it's uh, we get our leads from our door-to-door -door company promoters. 
then that transfers to our sales reps. And so our sales rep will go out, meet with the homeowner, do an estimate, spend time with them, assess the job, give them a price, tell them about our company. And if we're able to win that job from there, then it will move from sales and marketing into production. And so our sales rep will meet with our crew leader, give them the job that's to be produced, and then from there it's our crew leader who will take it on. And so then we're into the production stage. And so production is just everything to do with the actual painting of the house. And so that's going to be, you know, what time are we starting, what colors are we using, um, you know, how long is the job going to take, what does prep work look like, all those types of things are in with production. And so a big tip I would have for you would be to get solid employees. And so for my guys, I can't say enough about my staff, how solid they are. They're independent guys. We organize them as uh, separate independent crews. And so each crew will have their own vehicle, which will have their own set of ladders, sprayer, crew kit, everything they need to paint a house, we will equip our crew with. How we pay our crew for exterior work is a system called piecework. And what that is, is for every house, they will get a percentage of the job, regardless how long it takes for them to paint. Because we've done so many houses and the houses are very similar, very you know replicatable, um, it's, it's, it's almost easier to give them a percentage rather than to track hours and figure out you know how long their lunch break was, getting the paint from the paint store, all that good stuff. And so in that way, we attract very motivated staff who doesn't even really want hourly pay for outside jobs. They would rather just get a percentage, get the job done, and they know exactly how much they will be getting paid before they even start the job. And so that's our staff. Uh, this year, we're organized in about six to seven teams across Langley and Surrey, uh, each doing exterior and interior work. Um, but we try table our interior work for the winter months, you know, uh, September, October, and then January, February. Those are our big interior painting months. And so um, that's what we're looking for for staffing. We call those self-sufficient crews. And our sales reps are in turn managing these crews. But really, the guys should be so good to manage themselves that you shouldn't have to hire a manager to, to babysit them. They will take care of themselves. Once the job is done, our crews will walk around the homeowner, around the house, make sure everything's looking good. And then the homeowner will leave a check with our crew leader um, when the job is done. And then our sales rep will come back, follow up with the homeowner, bring them a bottle of wine and get them to uh, fill out a review if they're able. Um, the reviews guys in the painting business are just huge. If you can get solid customer reviews to tell other customers, get those up online, uh, you'll get a steady, you know, steady traffic of leads coming to you that will just keep you going in business, uh, going in business long term. So just a couple last things to tie in. If you're going to grow this painting business, which I really hope you are, it's important to work on your business and not work in your business. There's a couple jumps in this business where you're painting on site, you want to get off the tools if you're able to do that and hire a staff. Next, you want to be able to hire a sales rep to be able to go in and quote your jobs and then slowly you're just running more of a system where you're not having to work in it every single day, um, but rather you're developing the people and your company culture that, you're, that your company stands for. And so if you do wanna grow, you will have to delegate and empower employees at some point along the way, both in the sales and marketing side and in the production side. So don't try to be a hero and do it all. Um, I would also argue for consistent growth. For me, this has been a five-year journey where we started with one team, then moved to two, to three, to four, and now we're up six, seven. Um, don't try and go zero to 15 painters overnight because you're just going to fall flat on your face. And so I'm a big fan of consistency and taking small action steps every day to get closer to your goal. And that way your change is just more sustainable and you're able to see it over the, you know, a longer course of time. And so the last thing would be to just have fun with this guys. Like this is a painting business. You should be able to have fun with it. I love it. I love working um, on this, on this business. I find passion in it and a lot of joy. And if you do love what you do, like it is true, you won't have to work a day in your life. And so it's important to find something that you love to do. And you know, growing a painting business is a lot of fun. I'd love to help you guys more on your journey in this. And so 
If you have questions or things I said you're just looking for more clarification on, definitely comment on this video or reach out to me on uh, other social media platforms and we just look forward to connecting because in the journey of entrepreneurship it's important to find people who are like-minded and together we can grow. So thanks for listening to this video and uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you.